मसी तेरे जैसा है कोई नहीं तेरे चरणों में झुके आसमान और महिमा गा है सभी यीशु मसी तेरे जैसा है कोई नहीं तेरे चरणों में झुके आसमान और महिमा गा है सभी हम गाए ओ सना तू राजा होगा हे राजा तेरी महिमा हो है सदा तू है प्रभु हमारा खुदा प्यारे पिता तूने हमसे कितना प्यार किया हमें पापों से छुड़ाने को अपने बेटे को कुर्बान किया प्यारे पिता तूने हमसे कितना प्यार किया हमें पापों से छुड़ाने को अपने बेटे को कुर्बान किया हम गाए ओ सना तू राजा होगा हे राजा तेरी महिमा ओ है सदा तू है प्रभु हमारा खुदा हम गाए ओ सना तू राजा होगा हे राजा तेरी महिमा ओ है सदा तू है प्रभु हमारा खुदा तू है प्रभु हमारा खुदा माय डियर फ्रेंड्स इन क्राइस्ट जीसस I'm indeed happy and delighted to meet each and every one of you through this Sangam Plus TV YouTube channel. Dear friends, are you ready to celebrate Christmas? If you are ready, how was your preparation for Christmas? There is a long and big shout in the streets in the media Merry Christmas Merry Christmas and all the shops out there with the glittering colors and all the shops out there with the Santa Claus dressed inviting each and every one to do the shopping in our houses we might have started already cleaning painting decorating preparing the sweets making the crib in our parishes busy with carols busy with crib making semi christmas and choir practices all those preparations are of outward appearances and it is needed but what about the inward preparation for this christmas i invite each and every one of you how to prepare yourself for this christmas dear friends isaiah chapter 40 verses 3 says in the wilderness prepare the way of the lord make straight in the desert a highway for our god and who is this and it is the john the baptist who prepared the way and it is said in john chapter 1 verses 23 where he cried out and said i am the voice of one calling in the wilderness and how did he prepare them he baptized them made them to repent for their sins so that 
they may be counted as a part of the kingdom of God. My dear friends in Christ Jesus, at this season of Advent, each one of us are called to prepare ourselves, to prepare inwardly, repenting for our sins. Dear friends, there are so many things which is dumped into our life. It could be our own sins, it could be the problems, difficulties, it could be the trials, the temptations, it could be anything. But whatever is dumped has to be removed. And this is the perfect time to repent and hold on to the Lord. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, as it is said by God, be holy for I am holy. The one who is going to be born is holy. And Jesus is not going to be born once again, but he is going to come into our life, into our family and into our hearts. How do I going to receive this Jesus? He wants us to be holy. As 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verses 16 says, Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit and your flesh is against the works of the Spirit. Spirit is against the works of flesh. So there is always a fight between this flesh and the Spirit. So the Lord wants us to be holy, to be born in our hearts. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, let us not forget the focal point of this Christmas. Jesus prepared his way in establishing the kingdom of God through the servant, the prophet, John the Baptist. This Advent season where the season begins in the liturgical year of the Catholic Church calls us to prepare ourselves to receive God. And how do we receive, as I said, preparing ourselves in repenting for our sins. Yes, it is a season of hope. It is a season of peace. It is a season of joy. It is a season of receiving the Lord. And if I do have this hope, joy, peace, I need to have Christ. It is said in Matthew chapter 1 verses 23. God is with us, Emmanuel. And Jesus wanted not to be with us, but to be in us. That is what he said in Gospel of John chapter 15, verse 7. Abide in me and I abide in you. And ask for whatever and that will be granted to you. For God to be abiding in us. For God to be born in us. For God to be born in our families. We need to repent. Then I can have the hope, the Prince of Peace, the God living in me. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, as St. Paul says in Galatians chapter 2 verses 20, I have been crucified in Christ. It is no longer I who live. It is Christ who lives in me. Let us make Christ to live in us and celebrate Christmas as a meaningful Christmas. I hope this message will invoke your spirit to repent and to prepare yourself in receiving the Messiah, the anointed, so that you are anointed, your family is anointed to establish God's kingdom and live as a life of destiny.